My name is Matthias Gottberg. I'm an interventional cardiologist at Skåne University Hospital in Lund in Sweden. And the topic of today's lecture is IFR versus FFR guided coronary vascularization. And it's a five year data of IFR sweetheart. Well, we know that IFR is equally good as FFR when it comes to uh, accurately detecting ischemia, but previously we didn't have any uh, outcome trials. In other words, no trials saying whether IFR was equally good as FFR in terms of outcome, both short-term and long-term outcome. IFR Sweetheart was a 2000 patient register-based randomized clinical trial. Uh, RRCT is a trial design utilizing national quality registers as an electronic case report form. So for us, it's a way of um, inputting baseline characteristics, data input, online randomization, and also follow-up. And it's a proven, pragmatic, and cost-effective trial design that utilizes these registers and is facilitated by the, the fact that we have unique personal identifiers in Scandinavia, allowing us to track all patients with 100% follow-up. IFR, sweetheart, was a non-inferiority trial. Uh, in other words, we checked if IFR was non-inferior to FFR regarding a composite of all-cause mortality, MI, and unplanned revascularization at one year. Uh, and we needed 2,000 patients with 85% power to test a hypothesis. The patients were randomized in a one-to-one -one fashion between IFR and FFR guided revascularization, depending on uh, the cutoff points for IFR and FFR respectively. And the primary outcome, we previously presented that and published that in New England Journal of Medicine. And today I'm presenting the final five-year follow-up of the, uh, the trial. 